Hello everybody, this is Jeff Olson with Danfoss Drives. Today I have a brief video for you to demonstrate how to connect a Danfoss VLT drive with an Ethernet option card installed to a PC running the Danfoss MCT10 software tool. Please take a moment now to pause the video to read the safety warnings shown here. Failure to follow these warnings could result in death or serious injury. This video will assume that the drives or network of drives that you wish to communicate with have already been manually addressed. If you do not know how to do that, it's done in Main Menu Parameter Group 12. Here you can see that I have the IP address assignment set to manual. I would certainly recommend leaving this set to manual and manually addressing the drives rather than dynamically. Parameter 1201 here is where I actually set the drive's address. I have this set to 192.168.1.100 and the subnet mask is set as well. The next step in the process is to manually address the Ethernet adapter on the laptop. I'm going to show you what I currently have my computer set to. and it is addressed 192.168.1.200 this was done in the network adapter properties in the control panel so now that my laptop and all the drives are on the same network I'm going to go ahead and highlight network here in my MCT10 software right click and select add remove configure buses at this point here we'll see that we do not have Ethernet so I want to add one and in the drop down menu here I'm going to select Ethernet right here and I can name the network anything I'd like I'm going to close this box and now we see that we have Ethernet here now normally you can right click and scan bus for active drives those drives that are addressed on the network should show right up and here we see that I do have that drive 192.168.1.100 at this point I am in live communication with this drive and any parameter changes I make or readouts I view are in real time I will note that if you have a problem having the drives appear on the network you may want to right click here and go to configure bus where we can see the properties Occasionally you'll see that the default drive discovery method multicast does not work. Uh, it certainly works more often than not, but there may be a switch or something that's causing this not to work. And in that case, you'd want to go to the range scan and go ahead and select a range to scan that uh, the drives live within. So I would set the start and end address here and then go ahead and scan them. But uh, again, most of the time here, the multicast does work. And if you hit refresh, it will identify the drive. Even if the drives in the network have not been addressed, the multicast here will still find them. And I can actually go in and manually address them here if I want to. So hopefully this uh, helps you out in connecting your drives to MCT10. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Thank you for viewing. We hope this information has been helpful. Danfoss Drives can provide additional technical support, parts information, or repair services options by contacting us through one of the following methods. For immediate access to customer service or a technical support expert in North America, call 1-888-DANFOSS or 1-888-326-3677 or contact us through email. For technical support, the email address is drives.ts.na at danfoss.com. For customer service, the email address is drives.cs.na at danfoss.com. For after-sales service, the email address is drives.ts.service.na at danfoss.com. Additional information is also available on our website at www.danfossdrives.com. For contact information in areas outside of North America, please visit our global website at www.danfoss.com. Thanks again.